Hyundai, officially known as Hyundai Motor Company, is a South Korean multinational automotive manufacturer. The company has a rich history dating back to its founding in 1967. Today we will discover how this company created. Let's go back in November 25, 1915, a young man was born named Chung Ju Yung. He came from a poor farming family and had to drop out of school at a young age due to financial constraints. When he was 16 years old, he made the decision to run away from home, fueled by excitement and a sense of adventure without saying goodbye to his family. He headed out into the wide open world with his companion. After he arrived in the city, he eagerly searched for a job. He was overjoyed when he finally found employment as a construction worker. They worked hard for low pay but Chung, he was so proud because he could provide for himself. He and his friend were able to work for two months, before Chung's father became aware of their whereabouts. But they ended up returning to their hometown due to a big problems they had. At his home, Chung helps his father on the family farm. During that time he didn't give up on escaping from poverty. After serving his family for a year, he decided to make another attempt at fleeing. Unfortunately he is short on funds for the trip. He meted 71 for a train fare, so he sold one of his father's cows. With the money he bought a ticket and rode the train excitedly. Chung enrolled in a local bookkeeping school upon arriving in Seoul with the intention of mastering accounting. He was excited to start a new chapter in his life and looked forward to learning everything he could about bookkeeping. Everything ran smoothly for two months, until his father found him and after a short argument his father brought him back to Garzan. In 1933, when Chung was 18 years old, he made the decision to attempt an escape again. He fled through the night with a buddy to avoid being pushed into an arranged marriage. When he finally arrived in Seoul he wasted no time applying for whatever job he could find. He got his start in the workforce in Incheon where he performed manual labor. In 1940, he tried the auto repair business. He established the business with the assistance of a loan. After barely three years of business experience, Chung substantially boosted their revenue. During that time the number of employees increased from 20 to 70. As a contribution to the war effort in 1943, the Japanese colonial administration ordered the garage to combine operations with a nearby steel mill. Chung returned to Gazen with a savings of 50,000 yen, despite the Japanese having suppressed his businesses and forced them to close down. In 1947, he founded the Hyundai Engineering and Construction Company, which marked the beginning of the Hyundai Group. Before we continue this story please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and don't forget to turn the notification bell so you won't miss in our every uploads. Let's continue. In 1967, Hyundai Motor Company is established. The company's goal was to build and sell automobiles in South Korea. The company, became one of the world's largest automakers. Hyundai's first model was the Cortina, produced in cooperation with Ford Motor Company. Hyundai began to expand its production capabilities and entered into partnerships with other well-known automotive companies, including collaborations with Ford and Mitsubishi. The company introduced its own models, such as the Pony, which was Hyundai's first proprietary design. Hyundai continued to grow and expanded its presence on the global stage. In 1985, they released a new model to the public, the Hyundai Excel, which successfully passed the emissions standards allowing Hyundai to finally break into the American car market at just $4,995. It cost half the average price of a new car at the time and during its very first year, Hyundai sold a staggering 168,000 Excels in the US market alone. Hyundai had finally positioned itself as a major car brand. Chung and his team worked tirelessly to bring the brightest talent and develop their own engines and car parts. By the 1990s, a series of new models followed suit such as the Hyundai Accent, Hyundai Sonata and Hyundai Elantra. These models initially struggled to take off. They eventually gained higher sales as they started catching up with the latest features. Hyundai went on to acquire Kia Motors in 1998 and this joint venture marked the beginning of a new era for Korean cars, 
Together they invested heavily in the quality design and manufacturing process of their vehicles. This led to increased consumer confidence in Hyundai's products. The company's focus on safety and technology increased. By 2004, they achieved the impossible coming in tied with Honda as the second best initial brand quality in the industry, only behind Toyota. But even in spite of that achievement, Hyundai still struggled to shed their unfortunate past reputation in the public eye. However, Hyundai still had one more trick up their sleeve to prove their quality the company announced their 10 years, 100,000 miles warranty. On all the vehicles sold in the US thanks to this, sales of Hyundai vehicles have risen to make them one of the top car brands of the 21st century. Chung Ju Yung was not only a businessman but also had some involvement in politics. He ran for the presidency of South Korea in 1992 but was not successful. Hyundai became a leader in the development of hybrid and electric vehicles. The Hyundai Sonata Hybrid and the fully electric Hyundai Kona Electric were introduced, emphasizing the company's commitment to eco-friendly technology. Hyundai has continued to evolve its vehicle lineup, focusing on advanced technology, fuel efficiency, and safety. The company's luxury division, Genesis, has also gained recognition for its premium vehicles. In addition to its automotive business, Hyundai Group has interests in various other industries, including construction, shipbuilding, and more. Hyundai's legacy in the automotive industry is marked by its determination to grow from a local manufacturer into a global player, and its commitment to quality and innovation. Chung Ju Yung's legacy is closely tied to Hyundai Group and its numerous subsidiary companies. His contributions to South Korea's economy and development were substantial, and Hyundai became a symbol of the country's rapid industrialization and globalization. Chung Ju Yung retired from the Hyundai Group in 2000 and passed away on March 21, 2001. Chung Ju Yung's life and career are emblematic of South Korea's transformation from a war-torn nation into an economic powerhouse, and the Hyundai Group remains an integral part of the country's economic landscape. The Hyundai Motor Group just surpassed General Motors to become the third largest automaker.